<laughs> you just melted him. That guy got absolutely destroyed. Hey guys, Fragmanstool here with, of course, another bash build. The do changes to bash make power bash a lot better and a lot more consistent with actually the bash skill. We do a lot more damage with it. So we do have a sort of execute now where we can do a huge amount of damage as you can see from that last clip. And there is more to come. We've got power slam, but also reverberating bash, which will do an additional uh, probably 5k damage on top of that. So there's a huge amount of scope and play for this. In this video, we're going to look at the build that I'm running. We've got a group PvP build, and then we've got a solo PvP build, a couple of options there. So we've got one with Malakath bands for the extra damage and no crit. Bear in mind, we're going to go full penetration on this build. We're going to move out on crit or away from crit on this build, which is a bit unlike me for the Nightblade, but I kind of feel it's a bit more consistent. And then the second option is my favorite, which is Gaze of Thysis for the extra armor, health recovery and uh, health, and it's very, very strong for solo gameplay. So while we look at the build, we've got a couple of games running in the background. This one at the moment, I'm running solo with Gaze of Sithis. And then the other two, I actually did live on the stream with Mr. Cools, who gave me a handout. He's my pocket healer. And we went to group battlegrounds where obviously healers of Wraith and we absolutely destroyed. So it was a lot of fun. Before we get into the build, though, I just want to say, guys, if you want to check out the streams, either here on YouTube or at twitch.tv, wherever you want to be, guys, I don't mind it, whatever is comfortable for your platform, uh, do check it out. The stream schedule will be on the YouTube channel, and obviously that will reflect onto Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash fragmansoul. Do check them out. The written guide will eventually be up at grid-hq.com. Do check it out, and we've got some Elden Ring guides up there as well. So don't forget to check it out and check out our creators on that website. Okay, let's get into the build. Okay, let's go into the build. We're going to stay with the max health builds at the moment just because they work nicely with the um, Master Sword and Board. But eventually, we'll probably be playing with the stamina ones as Bash or the Power Bash will scale with stamina and weapon damage. So, but at the moment, we're just going to keep with wep uh, health. Um, spell resist unbuffed is 22k, so nice and high. We're not going to go crit build on this for once. We're actually going to go penetration on the Nightblade. Uh, so, we've got a 6k pen. Um, 40k health, 17k stamina, 12k magicka. Health recovery is a measly 387 at the moment. Uh, stamina recovery is 1,600, um, 1,616, and magicka recovery is 1,144. That will go up with the wretched vitality set by about 400. So we're looking just sub 2k and um, just to sub 1,500 for mag, mag recovery. Uh, the health recovery, if you are playing on a uh, solo situation and you don't mind not blocking, you could go Gaze of Sithis and that will pump it up uh, by about 1,000, uh, which is quite strong. Uh, uh, obviously, that gets halved in PvP, but with the extra armor as well and the extra health, it does make a massive amount of survivability difference. So uh, something to think about there. Um, so yeah, 6k pen. Uh, we've got Serpent Mundus, so you could go love it if you want more, but that will affect your uh, stamina recovery. Um, stamina recovery is obviously quite important um, now with the changes because our spammer ball costs 2,200 as opposed to 1,100, so it's twice as much um, with that. So Serpent Mundus uh, is helpful here, but if you feel that you don't need so much on the um, stamina recovery, you could also obviously go for Lover. That would help out a massive amount with the penetration. Jewels of Misrule for... Um, stamina and magic recovery and max health and our bash at the moment unbuffed is looking at about 6066 that is with CP uh, it is missing about a thousand damage which is sad but that is the way it goes guys with the patch <laughs> Onto the gear, right, so we're using Master Sword and Board as mentioned. This gives us a nice heal, but also gives us a nice amount of resistance. Um, so that 22K will go up to about 30K. Uh, we're using Sharpened on the weapon for penetration, uh, Reinforced on the shield uh, for more armor. And then I've got Deadlands in the um, jewelry slot, Infused and Bash, and then we've got Malakath Bands. This obviously reduces our crit. Uh, basically down by 50%, but base damage is increased by 16%. So this is kind of working quite nicely uh, in PvP, as I say, in a group situation, do the extra damage. If you find you're struggling, um, switch out and put Deadlands Ring on and then go gaze at this on the headset. That will really help massively. Um, we've got uh, the Crag Pauldrons. This is only training at the moment, but you'll go infused or you're reinforced or um, you could go for something uh, that enhances your playstyle, reduce block, etc. better dodge roll. And um, then we're using the Wretched Vitality set. Now this is on my arms, waist and legs. And this is again another crafted set with Deadlands. So we can make this all on heavy. 
Uh, options are here, you could go a bit more down the medium route to get a bit more speed and a bit more stamina recovery, which is definitely worth trying out. I like full heavy at the moment, um, but I, well, apart from obviously the head there, which is on a medium, but uh, normally I go full heavy for increasing that bash because it's 3% increased bash per heavy, but obviously mobility and stamina recovery and stamina recovery is a big issue on this patch. So it may be better to maybe even go three medium and um, four heavy. I play around with that, uh, see how you feel. Uh, but this is on the back bar set and I've got an ice staff um, for the Wretched Vitality, which I do like a lot, um, especially the, um, the Wall of Elements. Um, is a very strong shield uh, as well as the uh, as well as the kind of like reduction to movement so I do find that it's quite handy on that but you could go resto stuff if that is your bag depending on your play style again <music> onto the skills we're going to start on the back bar we're going to go unstable wall of frost this is obviously what I've just mentioned about this gives us a nice big shield uh, it gives us two shields in fact because the unstable one procs another shield which is actually I find very life saving it's a very, very good shield, that. Then we're using Sap Essence for major uh, brutality and sorcery. Uh, well, a little AOE, a bit of healing as well. You could go to the stamina one on this, but I do find you want to try and push as many mag spells as possible uh, with, obviously, the long durations on it because you'll find that mag uh, stamina you want to save for your bash, really. Dark Cloak, this is a huge ability. gives you a, bit, a good 4K um, healing every second for five seconds this is your massive heal uh it's just going to be what 25k oh, no, it's a bit under um it's uh, about 20k heal that is huge that is obviously only half your health but um it gives you minor protection as well very strong ability refreshing path for speed major exhibition is very very strong on this and also the extra heal so obviously a slow build so having a major exhibition on tap is very nice and a d decent heal as well your team and then mirage i've got this one set up because obviously the uh major evasion minor evasion is very very nice but the extra physical and spell resist is also um sorry major evasion minor resolve the extra minor resolve is very good for your bash build it increases bash damage but also does you know increases your tankiness so um that will give you the major minor buff that you need for wretched vitality just make sure you cast it every 16 seconds in order to get the uh, resources buff on the front bar, I've gone for Lotus Fan. Now this is because even though I greatly like the uh, Shielders Consult, and this is how a buff in the last patch, so you get actually a bigger shield. The shield is uh, 12,162 um, for six seconds, massive shield. Uh, it's gone up to 25% of your health. So it's a very, very strong shield that, but it still costs, a, you know, it's about 3,000. It's still an expensive cost. Um, so to save my, my stamina, I've gone for a Magicka one, and this does the uh, minor vulnerability for 10 seconds uh, on the AoE, which is a nice 5% increased damage, which is good, but you get no stun. Your stun actually comes from in-cap, so I would, um, obviously with the 120 ulti, um, you may miss out on the stun, and you may want to go for Shield Assault on this. It's entirely up to you. Um, at latest fan, I found kind of was better synergy and worked a bit better. Um, Pierce Armor for major and major, uh, major and minor breach. Uh, also the big heal and uh, big resistance. So this is kind of like a must and you should cast this if you can. Um, as much as you need the healing, but for the the extra resistance uh, every six seconds. So this has kind of got to be a slam ball. And your other slam ball, obviously, is power slam or power bash, should I say. Power slam will be what it will turn into. Uh, this does a whopping 11k physical damage. Uh, this is only power bash four. So when we level this up and it goes to power slam, that um, increases a little bit further to 11,980, but if we block and then bash, we get actually 33% damage on top of that. So that will put it up to probably about 15K, which would be a massive hit. So very much worth while getting that bad boy knocked up if you can. Or, I mean, this may actually be a better bet with the fact that we haven't got Lotus Fan, uh, sorry, Shield Charge, we're using Lotus Fan, uh, to use the reverberating bash for the stun. Um, and you get basically a split damage between the front and the back. So it's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, the bash on a reverberating bash is actually uh, less upfront damage of the initial one, but 8,000, 8,000, that's 16K. That's a similar uh, into power slam. So reverberating bash actually might be the stronger morph here um, if you don't mind um, kind of like splitting the damage up and having that stunned. So definitely worth one, uh, worth one to play around with and see what you have. 
Uh, defensive stance is a personal choice. I love this ability and I get slated for using this. The shield is massive, but I mainly use it for a, a deflect because we're quite slow and ranged um, players tend to obviously kite and cast. I tend to find that using defensive stance actually puts the pressure off me while um, I'm engaging because they will stop hitting me if they know that they're getting it reflected back into their face. The other one, and this is a bit of um, a choice one, relentless focus, obviously for the extra um, weapon and spell damage for 60, uh, goes up five times, so that's 300. Uh, that will help, obviously, your power bash uh, or slam. But if again, if you're struggling with resources, you could go for something like siphoning strikes because you will be bash weaving on this build. And I would probably go for the leeching strike so you get back stamina on this uh, and then you get your health back. So that is an option uh, to play around with on the fifth slot. And then obviously in cap, this is in a very strong ability. You obviously get the stun after you reach over 120 ultimate. But it's all about the extra 20% damage. The 20% damage is massive. It does a decent amount of damage anyway. It's up to 10,000 damage, um, which is strong, obviously, in PvP as a finisher. But um, the extra 20% will make all your bash and your power slams, etc. abilities very, very strong. Now, because we're using Malakath bands, guys, the... Um, let's go for the assassination. The assassination passives are... Well, the last two pressure points, uh, weapon and spell create rating is reduced. And the hemorrhage uh, is, again, kind of useless because we're using Malakath bands. If you go for uh, the Gaze of Sithis, obviously they'll come into play. But we don't really want to push crit. I find pushing crit at the moment in PvP it feels a bit dangerous because you've got to put crit, crit damage, and also penetration up. Tend to focus on penetration more, and you'll melt through enemies. Just on my racial, I am Imperial on this build. I would probably say Nord is a very strong bash uh, build. Orc is pretty good. Wood Elf for stamina recovery uh, or Kaji. If you want to go down the crit route and play around with that, Kaji obviously gives you that extra crit damage uh, and you can play around with that. This one gives a reduction in abilities with Red Diamond. Max stamina is increased by 2,000. Health is increased by 2,000. So it is um, it's quite a good class, actually, all round class. It's the Imperial uh, skill set. <laughs> On to champion points. Uh, using Deadly Aim for the extra 10% damage to bash. Masters at Arms, again, for another 10% damage. Those two are kind of crucial to increase bash damage. I'm using Bulwark for the extra resistance. This is 1,900. I love the fact that I'm a resistance build uh, and really help people with high um, penetration builds to kind of resist. You could you could take this off and, and, and obviously mix it up. You want to get more damage, get more damage, uh, more healing. And then from the brink, this is one that I'm playing around with at the moment for an absorption shield uh, when I'm sub 25% health. Because obviously in PvP, you get focused a lot when you are sub 25% health. It's 30 seconds, so it's actually quite quick, uh, especially if you're in overland PvP, so like Cyrodiil or IC. So this is actually quite a good one to go for, I feel, um, if you want to play around with that. It's a nice big, nice big uh, damage shield. And then obviously you go for the passives, penetration over here, and then you've got weapon, um, status effect, etc. On that one, make sure you pick those ones up. On to the uh, fitness tree. We're going for Fortified for more armor. We're going for Boundless Vitality for more health. Uh, celerity for speed. You will need speed in this because obviously you're six or seven pieces of heavy. And then Bastion. This, uh, this is something I'm playing around with at the moment. Increased effectiveness of your damage shields. We've got quite a few shields popping up, especially if we go for Shield of the Assault. Um, so the Bastion will increase that. But if you want to be able to play it safe, you would probably be better off playing the Pain's Rest Refuge um, for reduce your damage by take, uh, taking by 2% for every two negative effects up to a maximum of 20%. Um, DKs are a pain because they apply a lot of dots. This will help you get through that um, for sure. Um, but again, that fourth slot, play around with. And then on the Craft Tree, I have gone for... Um, Steve's Blessing for speed and Gifted Rider for speed. That's pretty much it. The rest are just fills. So there we have it, guys. That is the, the end of the build. It has got, obviously, room for improvement with the Power Bash turn to reverberate or Power Slam. Uh, there's a couple of options there that I've given you. Um, how do you feel about this build? What do you feel that you're going to change uh, and mess around with? Honestly, I feel the Deadlands is a kind of must. Wretched Vitality is a very strong set, but... I do like five pieces that have uh, health and resistance on the slots two, three, and four because it works really well with the heavy um, 
I guess the heavy batch build with the max health build. But obviously we're going to be changing this and moving out of this scope because obviously with the patch and power slamming being very big now with stamina and weapon damage, I feel that there is going to be a big scope for doing a stealth night blade and uh, stacking weapon damage, stacking stamina and uh, stacking bash and seeing what we can do instead of using the execute obviously using power slam options there let me know what your thoughts are on that would be guys and how you want to build that i don't really play a stealth night blade i'm a very tanky player always have been uh, but happy to give it a go and do a sort of like stealth based um <laughs> stealth based night blade It'd be quite cool I'm sure a lot of people were doing that a little bit of toxicity there the guy was teabagging me earlier so i kind of uh repaid him with a little bag uh, for himself anyway guys that is it for the video hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the uh the loadout and the explanation if you do want more of these do let me know obviously i know there's some big changes uh when it comes to elder scrolls online at the moment and we're all waiting for that god forsaken re-architecture patch uh, which won't happen for the next year but hopefully when it does happen a little bit of life will come back into eso unless people have by that time it disappeared off to the likes of elden ring and Starfield and all that sort of stuff that is obviously coming out later this year. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I think only 10% of you guys actually subscribe to the channel. I'd love to try and get that number up. So don't forget to do that. And also like the video if it is good, just like it if it's bad. And I'll see you guys in the next video.